Get a shot or lose your job. That's the deal for state employees, and time is running out to get vaccinated. And many people simply want more time to make that decision and not be forced into it. Monday marks two weeks until the governor's vaccine mandate takes effect. That's just enough time to qualify as fully vaccinated should you receive the Johnson & Johnson shot. Though many here say they've already made up their minds. We need to stand up. People are losing their jobs because of this decision that's made for them. Hundreds of people, many state employees, say their job is on the line over what they say should be a personal decision. Sunday, they took to the state capitol in protest. I hope that uh, when the Inslee administration faces the reality of, of so many workers being uh, terminated, facing termination in the services that are going to be impacted, I hope that he is advised to rethink this and back off. This, this as government numbers yes. show the mandate is working. According to the state office of financial management, the vaccination rate among state employees jumped nearly 20% between September 6th and September 20th. This is not an anti-vaccine rally. This is do not hold our livelihoods hostage to a choice that is personal and could mean our lives. And while the consensus among medical experts is that the vaccine has been proven safe and effective, many here maintain it's not a choice that the government should make. People have various reasons for not wanting it. Some people have religious, sound religious reasons for not doing it. Other people have legitimate medical concerns con uh, facing uh, the injection. While the governor's order does include exemptions for medical and religious reasons, most employees will have to prove full vaccination status come October 18th. In Olympia, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.